What's going on guys? Alex with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the White Mountain Knives exclusive Mini Towser K button lock. So this came out probably about a month ago or so, uh, probably maybe a little bit longer. I forget for how long I've had this. Um, it's a review that I needed to do. Um, and I wanted to get it made because I think I'm going to sell this knife, guys. Um, it's a cool knife. There's definitely some things I like about it, but it's just one of those knives that I just can't can't really jive with. I can't, you know, I can't seem to form a relationship to it. Um, and the closest thing I can think of to that in comparison is when I had the CGRB Feldsbar in. I had the um, Blade HQ exclusive with the JG10 scales and the, I think it was S35VN. Um, that was like a $70 knife. So that was a, a good, you know, good deal for the materials. Um, and it was a good knife. I think the review that I gave was pretty positive. You know, action was good, ergos were good carry was good like everything was good about it it's sh i just couldn't really like vibe with it i don't know it's just sometimes you know and you guys all are knife people you guys have all probably had a knife or two you know pass through your collection that just you know you didn't really you know gel with very much like there were just things about it you just you couldn't exactly put your finger on but um it just wasn't something for you and that, to me that's kind of how this knife is um you know, like I said, it's it's cool. I think it has a lot of good things going for it. I think it's a good value for the money. Um, you know, it's a, it's a White Mountain, White Mountain Knives exclusive. Um, so it's it's definitely, you know, has a lot of things going for it. But uh, I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to sell it and try to get something else in on the channel uh, and the collection. So, um, yeah. So we'll jump right into material. So, like I said, this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive for the third time, if you guys haven't already heard that. But, uh, and the cool thing about this, well, there's a couple of cool things. Um, it has a button lock, which is a first for a Towser K. It has, where is it, right there, uh, 3V blade steel, and it is a mini. Um, so this is the Towser K mini. Um, it is rocking, I believe it's chocolate, chocolate glacier rich light scales. So, uh, to me, I've kind of picked up as rich light being like similar to my Carta, but a little bit more papery. Um, a little bit not as coarse. Um, so this has a cool texture to it. I believe this is the same kind of hexagon or hex texture that they have done before on Tazer K's. Um, the Rich Light has a good feel to it. You know, like I said, it's it's kind of like micarta, um, but just a little bit smoother. You have a loop over style deep carry clip on here that doesn't go to the button of the knife, but that's just due to how the um, knife is, you know, the, the scales or the handle is pointed. Uh, you have that pointed back there. You have a lanyard hole. Um, of course, it is a button lock, so you do have this right here. I wish it was uh, recessed a little bit. I feel like it's kind of poking out just a little bit too much for my liking. Um, internal milling, you have uh, three slots on each, the show scale side and the um, or the lock bar side. And I guess they're, the lock bar is the show scale. So uh, both sides have internal milling going on. I do have some jimping right here. You have the typical um, sheep's foot style blade, nice flat grind, pretty tall, comes down to a nice thin edge. Um, that 3V blade steel is really cool. You have the Kaiser logo right there. Um, I don't think if there's anything else I'm missing. Uh, this is on bearings. Um, one thing I don't love about the materials is I wish uh, the liners were nested. Uh, I don't love the feeling that they are just proud liners. Uh, it makes the knife feel kind of clunky and kind of chunky, um, which it is to begin with, but I feel like if it had those nested liners, they could have contoured it a little bit, made it feel a little bit better in hand, um, better than it is because it is a pretty ergonomically friendly knife. Um, but yeah, overall, I believe that's all for material. So next up, we are going to jump into action. Uh, the, middle, or the middle finger flick is money on this knife. It has a great detent, you guys can see. Snaps. Well, it's not very audible because of the way the rich light kind of dampens it. Um, but you guys can hear very acoustic on the fly out. It's very snappy. Not nah, may, maybe just a you know a smidgen of blade play, um, but it flies right out of there. It did come a little loose, so I had to tighten it up, and then I added some KPL. So if you happen to see some oil on the blade, I just put that on there a couple days ago. But um, thumb flick is also okay. I mean, it's not as good as the middle finger flick. You kind of have to shove your finger right up in here to like the top of the hole and 
it fires out. Um, but I've said this before on my channel on videos, uh, when holes are, you know, more pill shaped, I sometimes struggle with them if, you know, if they're set up differently or the way they're, if they're closer to the scale, um, than a normal circle, like spidey hole, which is something my, you know, you can't really dig your finger in it, into it as easily in my opinion. Um, but this one, once you get used to it, it flies right out. Uh, and then you have the button lock. So, um, press here and it drops. You guys all know what a button lock is. Um, they're kind of being a little oversaturated right now in the market because I believe Kevin has said this before too. So if I'm taking, um, if I'm saying it, I'm giving him credit for it, but everyone is chasing the Malibu. The Protec Malibu is kind of the pinnacle of the button lock in the knife world. Um, I don't really need to get a Malibu in the collection. Uh, the Malibu is actually, he, it was one of the first knives I ever reviewed on the channel. Uh, Kevin actually sent me a package with that in it. That was an epic package too. It was the Protec Malibu. This is a little side note, but the Protec Malibu, the uh, Spyderco Danger Pickle. I forget what the, the real name is for it. And the uh, Microtech UTX85 Bounty Hunter. So getting those three knives like a month into me having a channel from a guy who I had just really met on Instagram was mind-blowing. And that was basically the start of Kevin and I's friendship. So uh, Kevin, thank you for being such a good guy back in the day and for sticking with, you know, being a friend and, a, you know, a good buddy. So, um, but yeah, he sent me the Malibu back then. Really loved it. I need to get another one. Uh, they have so many different variants out now. I really want to get a textured one. Um, because it's, it's basically, it is the pinnacle of the button lock in the community. Um, it, ProTech has just nailed it. Um, you know, they're, everyone's trying to climb the mountain that is the, you know, the Malibu. Um, the Mordax is also really good too. That's another product product, but, um, you know, and button locks are kind of being oversaturated, especially in the budget community recently or the budget realm recently. Um, you know, there's the Kaiser original, there is the CGRB Pyrite that I think they just came out that I actually was kind of interested in. Um, there's the Beglighter button lock, the Beglighter XL button lock, the the Kaiser, I think, Assassin, the Kaiser Hiccup, like there's just so many of them. Uh, the Kaiser original, which I do have, I need to review that one as well. Um, I do like that one a lot. But, uh, you know, everyone's just trying to, you know, kind of oversaturate the market with it because it's kind of a, a cool new, it was lesser used uh, locking mechanism, but now it's kind of overused. Um, so, but uh, this does have a little bit of lock stick to it. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but you might be able to because it's pretty loud. Now, I'm sure with more usage, see, I lefty thumb flick, I struggle to get it out. Um, middle finger flick, I don't, but, um, the more broken in it gets, because obviously I haven't had this a super long time. I haven't carried it like every single day. Um, it'll probably get broken in, but that's just kind of, you know, button stick with button locks is kind of a, a normal thing. Uh, but I just, you know, wanted to note it that it does have but, uh, button stick, but, um, I do feel like it could be a little bit recessed. Um, because if you are doing like a pinch grip type of thing, your thumb is basically right on it. And you wouldn't want the knife to, you know, get, you know, uh, unlocked while you're trying to cut something. So um, if they would have recessed it a little bit, I feel like that would be a good thing for safety and, you know, um, ergos as well. But action is good. Flies right out of there. Drops closed. Just a little bit of blade play. Not bad at all. That had a lot of button sticks. So it all kind of just, it comes and goes. Like now it's pretty bad but times it'll be like not as sticky um but like i said with, with it being broken in more and more i'm sure it'll get better so uh action is pretty solid next up is ergos and the ergos are really good on this knife so you have a forward finger choil here you have the um the kind of awkward but like different handle shape that is the tauser k so you have a big indent right here it, it goes back, swells, gets fatter, and then it tapers off towards the end. Uh, but that makes for a really good ergonomic experience. Um, if you're not choked up, I can still get four fingers on the knife pretty easily. Middle, my uh, pointer finger goes right here, and the rest of my fingers kind of just fall in. I do have a nice strip of uh, jimping up here that's you know, pretty, pretty mild jimping. It feels good when your thumb lands on it, but that's very comfortable. Or you can put your middle finger here and let your fingers fall in, and then put 
use the choil for your pointer finger and that's also very comfortable too if you're going to be doing some precise cuts you know doing something with, with some push cuts or you know cutting around something cutting something out you know whatever the nature is of your cuts if you need more control that choil is just super super comfortable you can get you know you can find your thumb up here um, back you know anywhere on the spine of the blade it's going to be comfortable um, the rich light has a nice texture to it uh, i like the, the texturing they did on it and it's not it's not overly coarse so it feels good in the hand but it, it provides enough grip to where you feel like you're not going to be slipping out of your hand um, obviously i did go over the you know placement of the button with it being a little bit proud of the knife you're going to be doing some you know a pinch grip you know the back end of my thumb can dislodge the knife you wouldn't want that to happen if you're doing some cutting with it um but yeah overall ergos are good you know if you want to do like a reverse grip here not as comfortable as you know typical knives just due to the way the blade shape is uh, but you can definitely you know utilize it in that you know like self-defense manner if you need to um, but you know, overall ergos are good i think to me ergos i've heard before that the the normal towser was really comfortable in hand um, so i kind of had that idea coming into it and it definitely didn't you know um it didn't disappoint the one thing i also do want to note is i wish uh the liners were nested i feel like that would just make the ergonomic experience that much better because if you nest the liners you can kind of uh chamfer the edges and kind of round them off a little bit better and to me, you know, that just makes it such a better, um, you know, experience because, it, I mean, chamfered edges, rounded edges makes everything more comfortable. So, uh, and also the, the uh, can't talk today, guys, the liners being proud makes it kind of feel like a little bit cheaper of a knife, a little bit more budgety knife, which granted it is, uh, but there are plenty of knives in this price range that uh, get nested liners that are even, you know, less expensive than this one. So, um, but overall ergos are good. So next up is carry. Um, carry is good. You know, you have, I keep saying is good. Um, not great, not awesome, but not bad. Uh, overall you have a loop over style deep carry clip pretty much goes to the button of the knife. You do have a little bit sticking up top here just due to the way, uh, the handle is sculpted and shaped. Uh, it is lefty carry, so you can switch it back and forth. And I see Kaiser also does like three holes. Uh, so you can kind of put it, actually, I didn't think about that, to be honest with you. Um, so this looks like it's on the bottom in the middle hole. Uh, but I don't know if you put, yeah, you could use the, um, the, the middle hole and the top hole, and it would be pretty much in line with the top of the scale. I don't know why I didn't think about that until now. I guess I just slipped my mind. So that's, that's on my, you know, my fault, but, uh, I definitely, uh, I think that's cool that Kaiser does that. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to change it right now, but my bit driver is not within arm's reach and I don't feel like getting up. So, uh, but overall it carries well, you know, the pot clip has some nice retention to it. It's a basic, you know, loop over style, deep carry Kaiser clip that are used on a lot of their knives nowadays. Um, drops in your pocket it's lightweight because there's internal milling going on and the rich light is also you know a lightweight material you don't have a flipper or anything right here um, no jimping it's all just you know streamlined very very smooth very lightweight you know it's a, it's a medium sized knife this is the the mini so it has like a three inch style blade um, so you're getting a little bit smaller of a knife than the normal Tazer K. Uh, but you know I, I had no issues at all with it you know, it's just, just one of those knives. So um, that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. So I bought this, of course, on whitemountainknives.com because it is an exclusive. Um, the mini is currently sold out if you guys are interested, but I am going to leave a link down below to the website. Um, this probably, by the time you guys see this, this might be sold um, because I, as soon as this, you know, video, as soon as I get done filming this video and I get it uploaded and stuff like that, uh, I'm probably going to try to sell it. But from White Mountain Knives, these go for $99. Use Kevin's code, use Casey's code, um, you know, any of your favorite YouTubers codes, you can get 10% off. So I believe I got this for like 90 bucks. Uh, I think that's a, a good deal for what you're getting. Uh, you know, you're getting a lot of exclusive items on here. Of course, you're getting the Chocolate Glacier Rich Light, which is really cool. You're getting a button lock, a 3V blade, and it's a mini um, Towser. So, I mean, it, you get a lot of exclusivity with it. Um, like I said, it's, it's out of stock right now on the website. The full-size Towser K, uh, the full-size version of this, I should say, because that's a, a mouthful to say, um, 
is $109, so it's $10 more. So if you're interested in the full size and not the mini, you can get that on there as well. Someone's code will knock it down to 100 bucks for you. So I do think for the price point, it's worth it. Uh, I think Kaiser is really kind of killing it in the budget. Well, I mean, that's it, to me, that's a budget knife. Um, they're, they're killing it in the budget realm nowadays, in my opinion. I think they're, um, you know, they're, they're coming out with a lot of models, but they're, they're really good models. And, you know, I, I don't regret paying it. I th like I said, I think it's worth it. I think 90 bucks for, you know, 3V blade, rich light scales, a button lock, um, you know, good ergos, a pretty solid action is, is worth it. But um, at the end of the day, like I said earlier in the video, it's just one of those knives that doesn't really dry, you know, jive with me. It doesn't gel with me. It doesn't, you know, it just, I haven't, I've enjoyed carrying it. I've liked carrying it. I haven't like loved carrying it, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, and I just would rather, you know, get the money in for something else uh, on the channel because there is plenty of stuff out there that I have not checked out. Um, and I'd rather, you know, sell it and have someone else enjoy it than having me just, you know, have it sit in my knife case and uh, might as well get a little money out of it. So um, at the end of the day, I think it's a good knife. I think if you're a fan of the Tauser, you know, K-Series and you, you're, you you know, uh, a fan of button locks, you guys are going to like this. I think it's a cool knife. Um, I'm glad I got to check it out. Hopefully somebody buys it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you have to get rid of some knives that you like to chase some knives that you will love. So uh, that kind of makes a list for me on that end. But uh, overall, I would recommend it. I think it's good. Uh, and again, the link will be down below uh, in the description. So. Uh, that was my full review on the, hold on, White Mountain Knives Exclusive Towser K Mini Button Lock in 3V Blade Steel and Chocolate Glacier Rich Light Scales. Um, def ah, that, that, that didn't happen, guys. I'm, you know, I'm not even going to uh, exit or uh, cut that out. I'm kind of curious when I watch back the video what my face was like. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess, I guess that's how I really feel about this knife. But um, so... I'm going to wrap this up before I drop this on anything else and uh, harm somebody, aka me. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, of course, the uh, knife will be listed down below. Please go check that out. Leave a comment. Uh, did you guys pick one of these up? Are you interested? You know, Give me your thoughts on it. Uh, Blue Creek Knives is also listed down below. Use code 814EDC for 10% off of your uh, purchase. Please go support Brian. He's a fantastic person. Uh, and I want to support him because he supports me. So um, that'll be all for today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.